Hi everyone. Welcome to new class. Today's class is about transformers. That is basic principle of operation of transformers. The constructional details etc. Transformer is a static AC machine which is used to either increase or decrease the voltage of an AC supply without any change in frequency. It consists of two separate windings called the primary winding and the secondary winding and they are insulated from each other. The transformer is used in almost every field of electrical engineering. This device plays an integral part in power distribution systems and can be found in many electronic circuits and measuring instruments. Principle of Operation of Transformer The transformer works on the principle of mutual induction. Mutual induction between two coils linked by a common magnetic flux. The two windings are electrically separated from each other but magnetically coupled. That is, it consists of two windings, the primary and the secondary, bound on a common laminated magnetic core. The winding connected to the AC source is called the primary winding and the one connected to the load is called secondary winding. The alternating voltage V1 is applied to the primary depending upon the number of turns of the primary and secondary an alternating voltage or EMF E2 is induced in the secondary. The two windings are wound on the same core. The coil to which the source is applied is called the primary. So, when the primary winding is connected to AC supply, an alternating flux is produced in it. The alternating flux in the primary winding also links with the secondary winding through the body of core. The alternating flux in the secondary winding produces an EMF in it. it is called the mutual in, mutually induced EMF. If the secondary circuit is closed, then a current will flow through the secondary circuit. When the number of turns in the secondary winding is more than that in the primary winding, it is called step up transformer and when the number of turns in the secondary winding is less than that in the primary winding it is called step down transformer a step up transformer has output voltage more than its input voltage and a step down transformer has output voltage less than its input voltage Let us go through the constructional details of a transformer. The main parts of a transformer are laminated core, windings, transformer tank, conservator tank, terminal bushings, breather. Laminated core. The material of transformer core is high grade silicon in the form of several laminations. These laminations are insulated from each other by a light coating of varnish on the surface. And the thickness of laminations varies from 0.35 mm to 0.5 mm. The core is laminated to reduce the power loss due to eddy currents which appear in the form of heat. 
and based on the construction of the core there are two types of transformers that is core type transformer and shell type transformer next windings the primary and secondary windings are of super enameled copper wire these windings are insulated from each other transformer tank the assembled core and windings are placed within a sheet metal tank and immersed in oil the transformer oil provides insulation to the winding and core and dissipates the heat produced to the surrounding media conservator tank it is a small tank mounted on the main tank connected by a pipe which takes into account the rise and fall of oil level due to heating and cooling of the coil the main tank completely filled with oil but conservator tank is partially filled with oil terminal bushings the purpose of the bushings is to insulate and to bring out the terminals of the transformer from the container bushings are made of porcelain breather the function of the breather is to absorb moisture from the air which is taken in by the transformer due to contraction of oil in the tank due to cooling the material used in the breather is silica gel which absorbs moisture from this incoming air next is types of transformers based on the construction of core according to the cons core construction and the manner in which the primary and secondary are placed around it transformers are classified as core type transformer and shell type transformer first one core type transformer in core type transformer half of primary winding half of primary winding and half of secondary winding are placed around each limb this ensures tight coupling between the two windings consequently leakage flux is considerably reduced while placing these windings an insulation layer is provided between core and inner winding and between the windings to reduce the insulation low voltage winding is usually placed nearer the core for small core type transformers the laminations are cut in the form of l shaped strips in order to minimize reluctance of magnetic path alternate layer are stacked differently and continuous joints are eliminated next is shell type transformer this method of construction involves the use of a double magnetic circuit both the windings are placed around the central limb the other two limbs act as low reluctance flux path the central limb carries whole of flux whereas the side limbs carry half of the flux therefore the size of the central limb is about double that of the other outer limbs for small type transformer laminations are cut in the form of e and i alternate layers are stacked differently to eliminate eliminate continuous joints there is one more type that is stepped core construction for large transformers coil will be of the form of circular cylinders a considerable amount of useful space is wasted in square core construction a common improvement on square core is to employ cruciform core this is called cruciform core construction for very large transformers further core stepping is done core stepping involves high space factor so this is 
cruciform core and this is stepped core construction thank you for watching the class if you like the classes please like share with your friends and subscribe my channel